Sir, with us, he wants to speak something about the seven ages of man, a very wonderful poem of William Shakespeare. And in that poem, Shakespeare has described different seven stages of man. So, on the same topic, Mr. Sajjad Hussain, a very wonderful student, uh, wants to say something, uh, wants to deliver his presentation. So, over to Mr. Sajjad. Mr. Sajjad. First of all, I would like to start with the name of Almighty Allah. The most beneficent, the most merciful, the most gracious, the most gracious king of the universe. Before starting this topic, I would like to say the great, respectable and honorable teacher, Sir Satar Mehman, and my dear class fellows and students, Islam My name is Sajjad Hussain by Class Center. I am going to speak today the very interesting, very fantastic and a beautiful topic. That topic is the seven ages of man. So, uh, before starting this, I would like to share one poetry in English language. That poetry is started from the very beautiful king of the unknown country. I don't know about the country, but he is a very famous poet. Luther Mercury King, I think you have listened sometime. So he said in his poetry, fly. It's always convincing to the student that fly. If you can't fly, then run. Fly, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't run, then just do like six. But keep moving towards your goal. Keep moving towards your goal. Never think that life is going to be in, dream is going to be in. Everything is, should constantly go. So my topic is seven ages of man. This is very beautiful topic. I think you will be very happy and very interested to listen to this topic. So let me start this. The writer of this poem, William Shakespeare. He is the greatest, very famous, dramatic word of this, uh, this word, and he's very famous poet. William Shakespeare was the greatest and uh, eight poet of English writer. He was born in 1564 and died in 1660. He's a very famous poet and one of the very important thing in his, in his life, life career that is... He was born in, um, he started his career from the very common village, uh, Stratford. He was born in the Stratford, the Satsu village. Means the great poet of this uh, English literature. He's also called the father of English literature. The great man of this English literature, he has started his career from the very common and simple village, very common and simple city, that's Stratford. That city was unknown city in the uh, England that time, but he has married to the very famous. So he is the greatest poet. He belongs to Elizabethan era. Elizabethan era, the poets, the poets of Elizabethan era, they are very experienced in writing Sultor. And uh, the writer of this poem is uh, uh, Lord Yanks. He was a negative thinker, means pessimist. He think that uh, he think that uh, um, a glass is half empty like this. So this book is anthology. Which book we have studied in uh, the Seven Ages of Man? This is an anthology. Anthology means the the select the pieces, the collection of selected pieces are uh, added over. So my dear student, this is also a speech. Uh, this is speech is performed by Lord Yanks. And uh, this story is related with the two brothers, Duke, Elder, uh, Duke and uh, Friedrich. Friedrich was a younger brother and Duke is an elder brother. Now, now Frederick. Now Frederick kept jealousy with his brother. He cheated his brother and uh, he uh, became successful in this uh, uh, kind of, uh, such kind of stupid heart. Uh, you know, her stupid acting. So he became famous and Duke went to live in the forest of Arden where Duke and people live happy life. Now, according to William Shakespeare, every people come across seven stages. Uh, the first stage is an infant. Infant means a when person, when person, uh, the God has created a person. The first time he don't know everything about the world, when he's living in the world, having in the world, but he's don't know about the word means he is unknown from everything. The second thing he came into that is a love, a school boy, means a school boy. He became the part of the school when he's going to uh, start his school and uh, try to get education. And the third thing is lover, when he became on the uh, third stage, he feeling some kinds of love means the love is just like we are thinking that we have to do love with the ladies, these kinds of no loves. The William Shakespeare addressing the love and beauty 
that's you know perfect love which i will tell you next now the fourth stage is a uh, soldier fifth stage is you know justice and uh, uh, pantalon uh, the sixth stage is pantalon and uh, seventh stage is challenges now the elizabethan poets have a very important kind important thing that is they always talk about two important things one is the beauty second is the love they always started to uh, speak when they started to speak in the uh, talking about love they never stopped because love is very important in the thing, life if you don't love with somebody you can not love the life this word is moving this word is moving by the support of love that love which he taught us he is not telling us the stupid kind of love which we are doing with the some people today he is telling us the real love that love has made this word perfect and this word is moving by that love now we are imaginary thinking that we have to do love with the ladies that is that kind of not love he was a religious man and he was very religious that's why he uh, write a lot of things about love the true love and perfect love and he always uh, speak about the beauty beauty of world and he was not talking about the beauty of facts he was always imagine the things and talk about the beauty of the, uh, things so he was very interested in theater because his father was a religious he was also a religious man uh, his father don't wanted to make him like the part of theater but he was very interested in theater he uh, always used to go to the theater and to learn something from there so when he was 25 years old he started to write a poem and he had tied three kinds of poems tragedy comedy and historical so he is a very great writer thank you so much my speech is going to be in now